If I could save time in a bottle The first thing that I'd like to do Is to save every day Till eternity passes away Just to spend them with you If I could make days last forever treasure and then again I would spend them with you but there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to once you find them I've looked around enough to know you're the Okay, let's take a look at the intro. What you're going to do is you're going to start on the 10th fret with your third finger on the second string and your pinky on the first string and also in the 10th fret. Okay, so what you're going, your left hand is going to be doing is you're going to take the pinky, your, sec, your third finger is going to stay on the second string for the first three moves. So you have pinky here and then you take the pinky off and you put the second finger down in the ninth fret, also on the first string. And then you take your second finger off and you put your first finger down, also in the first string, but now it's in the eighth fret. Okay, so those are your first three moves. Here, here, and here. Did you notice the third finger is not moving? Okay, now we're going to take the first finger, we're going to slide it to the seventh fret, and then we're going to put our second finger down on the second string in the eighth fret. Okay, so all together that's going to sound like this. Well, let's talk about what the right hand is doing before I do that. What the right hand is doing is I'm going to rest my thumb on the third string and I'm going to pluck index, middle, index, middle, okay? So I'm just going to keep each finger assigned to its string. So first finger is assigned to the second string and the middle finger is assigned to the first string. So then we have... Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our third finger and we're going to put it where the second finger is. We're just going to just do a little switcheroo here. Okay, and then we're going to take our first finger and we're going to bar very quickly the first and the second string. Okay, so we're here. Okay, and then we put our fourth finger on the third string and then we're going to play that with our thumb. Our thumb has just been resting there, just kind of hanging out, waiting to do something. Okay, now it's, it's its turn, okay? So we were here. Okay, now we're going to take our third finger off. And that's why we're barring our first finger because we need that, that note on the second string in the sixth fret, okay? So we're here, the previous chord. Okay, switcheroo, bar, fourth finger, lift your third finger, put your third finger back on, take it back off, and then the thumb plays again. Okay, so that whole little bit is going third finger down, thumb, third finger off, third finger on, third finger off. So that whole little bit so far, we have this. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our first fring, finger 
and go to the first string on the fifth fret, and we're going to take our second finger and put it on the third string. Okay, and then we're just going to pick those. The thumb is going to pick the third string, and middle finger is going to play the first string. Okay, so we pick those together, and then slide your second finger up to the fifth fret and put your third finger down right in the same fret on the first string. So we have Okay, and now we're going to slide up to the ninth fret. And then we're going to slide up to the 12th fret. Then to the 10th. And then to the 9th. And this time we're going to take our fourth finger and do a hammer and a pull off. Okay, so that whole little bit there is. Okay, so from the beginning. And that's our intro. Okay, for the verses, we're going to do it in two sections, okay? Because there's a first section to the, the verses and then there's a second section. So the first section, we're gonna start on a D minor chord, but I recommend instead of playing it like this and trying to reach with the fourth finger to the first chord, it's a lot easier if you bar the, if you can bar the first fret and just, you, you only really need to hear the first string but it just gives your um, your hand more more room to stretch, okay? Then if you do like this, if, you're, if your first finger is like this and you try to stretch, it's really difficult than if you just lay it down. And then you, but you're only pressing for the first string because the third finger is on the second string. It's just kind of a little tip to help you to reach, okay? So we're gonna start with, the, with it like this, with the D minor, and with our thumb on playing the fourth string. So you have the first chord. So you're playing thumb, index, middle, ring. And just keep every finger on this on the string that it belongs to. So home for the thumb is going to be the basses, so the fifth or the fourth string, or the sixth string later. And then the index finger on three, middle on two, and ring on one. So then you have this. And then you're going to play the index again and then the middle again. So you have. Now here is when you need to reach and play the bass note on the fourth fret of the fifth string. Now for the next chord, I just I just let my pinky just fall into the third fret. I find that to be the smoothest. Here, we're going to get rid of this and just bring the second finger up. Okay, so that will be our next chord after that. So we have. Okay, so the pattern for the right hand is the same for all of that. Okay, so thumb, index, middle, ring, index, middle. Okay, it's going to do that for each one, and then we have that descending bass line. C sharp, C, B. Okay, now you just bring your first finger up very quickly to the B flat, so the first fret, fifth string, and your third finger still gets to stay there. But now you just have your first finger only on, no bar, just only on the, the fifth string. Okay. And then you're going to bring it down for the first string. So you have this. Okay, so just take it at the last second to that. So it's, it's, it's going to sound like you're going to think, oh, but the note in the bass is not going to ring out. But the note has decayed by the time you get there, so it doesn't matter. Okay, 
So that whole bit is. To a little tag here where we're going to go to the fifth string and the second string. Fifth string is open, second finger on the second string, second fret. Okay, and then to put your third finger down also on the second string and the third fret and put your first finger in the second fret. And then slide that up to um, the fourth fret and the fifth fret. So you have fourth fret here and fifth fret here. So you have this. And then we're going to go keep your third finger where it is on the second string and go up to the eighth fret and put your second finger down on the fourth string in the eighth fret. Okay, then take your third finger off, second finger slide it down to the seventh fret and put your first finger down. Okay, this is all on the second string. And then take your first finger off, slide your second finger down to the fifth fret and put your third finger back on. Okay, so that you had this. from here okay so all of that together now we have Okay, now let's take the second half of the verse. So this time we're going to come and we're going to play the D minor um, with our fourth finger. So first finger, second finger, fourth finger. So that's different than what we had before because we had to reach our fourth finger here. But now we want our fourth finger because we need to reach our third finger to the third fret on the fifth string. So that's going to be the second chord. So here we're going. Put your third finger on the fifth string. Now leave your pinky where it is. Put your first finger on the fifth string in the first fret. Okay, now you need your third finger on the sixth string in the third fret. And now you need your first finger on the sixth string in the first fret. To that first string with your when you play with your ring finger, just bring just bring your first finger down so you don't need to bar. You can you can't really bar because well you can well no you can't because you need the third string to ring open so you can't right you can't okay then bring your second finger over the top and put it on the sixth string in the third fret and your third finger you're gonna put it on the third string, right? They're all in the same fret, so you have this. Okay, so I'll play that whole section now. to another little tag so you're going to take your second finger and put it in the second string second fret and then play the third string after it opens so you have this okay then put your third finger down on the second string in the third fret and your first finger down on the fifth string in the second fret pinch those together and then third string open and then take your fourth finger and put it in the fourth fret on the fifth string and then you're going to play that with the first string together. And your ring finger is going to play that. And then index on the third string open. So you have this. Okay, then you just take your first finger, just bring it down to the um, second string in the second fret, and then do a hammer, pull off, and then open and then put it back down in the second fret and then play the fifth string at the same time. So you have this. So 
together you have okay so let's take that whole second half together Okay, now for the chorus. You're going to play the same thing through twice. When you get to the tag line, you'll just repeat it over again. So we're going to start with a D chord, but we're going to play it with our first finger barring the second fret and our second finger playing the second string in the, in the third fret. And then the bass is going to walk down again. So we have fourth string. And then third finger can play the fifth string in the fourth fret. And then we can bring the third finger down to the third string and then our fourth finger our first finger up to the fifth string what we have here actually is a b minor chord but we don't need a, a, a note on the fourth string so we're just eliminating that okay so i'll play that again Now, if you find it too tricky to, get, to make the third finger do this, you can actually play the bass note with your, your pinky on the second chord, so you can do this. And then the third finger is just kind of free to grab it, so whatever comes easier to you, you can practice both and see which one you like better. chord we're just coming back to the D chord again but the bass is now an A okay and now we're just going to play the first finger and the second fret on the fifth string and then in the third fret we have our third finger and our fourth finger okay and then we come to a D chord but without um, without the F sharp on the first string. So we just have two fingers down. And then take your second finger over the top to the get a G and leave your third finger where it is. Okay, so we'll do that whole thing again slowly. Let's learn the outro. So we're going to go to the sixth fret, second string with our first finger, and we're going to go to the third string in the seventh fret with our second finger. So you're going to play four, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so. And then you're going to play two harmonics, one on the fourth string and one on the third string. I just use my thumb for both of them. And what you want to do if you have if you don't know how to do harmonics, you just touch the string lightly and then you play it and as you play it you release your finger at the same time. The timing is crucial. So if you leave your finger there, it's just kind of dead sounding. So if you let go at the right when you play it, then it gives it a more of a bell-like sound. Okay, so then you're going to go and then you do it again. On the ending on the last chord, just roll the chord. So thumb, I am A. So, okay. So the whole outro all together. Thank you. 